Hello, um, I just wanted to do a little tutorial on exactly um, a step-by-step -step procedure on how to get started in my class. Uh, probably the first and most important thing, uh, if you are listening to this and watching this, then you have already seen my welcome email. Um, you do need to make sure you read all of this and it is extremely important to follow all the steps. The first step is to understand when your week of activation is. Okay, it says next, next activation period is this. Okay, this might not be your activation date because this is a recording that I use over and over again. Okay, so make sure you're checking your email for your next activation period. You must do these three steps. First one is the welcome presentation. It is a two-step process. The first one is to watch part one. The second one is to watch part two, which is what you are doing now. So you watch both one and two. Okay, at some point you're going to get a password. Um, and when you get that password, um, in addition to answering um, these other questions, you will answer these questions from step two, give me the password, the welcome presentation password, and then send that in to me in order to get activated. Once I receive all of step two, I will activate you in the class. However, this is where step three comes into play and is very important. You can start the classwork. I will activate you once I receive information from step two, but if you do not call me within two weeks of activation, I will withdraw you from the class. I do want to do a what we call live welcome call. It's just I want you to go ahead and have the opportunity to get started without having to fit within that particular time frame. So I'm doing, or I should say trying this, um, and seeing how this works, okay? So that way you still get all the information that I want you to know in order to start the class, but I give you a little bit more flexibility in the timing that it may take to actually do a live welcome call. And the welcome call won't be long. It'll be just, you know, a couple minutes. Hi, how are you? Want to talk to your mom or dad? Make sure your parents are there for that welcome call so we can go ahead and... Um, you know, answer any of their questions as well, okay? So if you do not call me within those two weeks, you will be automatically withdrawn from the class and you'll have to re-register, okay? Just anytime during my office hours, if you don't answer, if I don't answer, just leave a message. Um, I'm also going to make an effort as well to reach out to you so that way hopefully we can, between the two of us, can catch each other. But if in those two weeks we don't connect, I'm going to be withdrawing you from the class. So please keep that in mind. So to recap, the only thing that you need to have is for you to email me step two with all this information and these questions answered. Okay? So then what you do, um, if you haven't already, which you should already have done this because you are reading this email, is you um, are to be... Uh, logging in to VSA. So if you haven't received my email and you're watching this particular recording from my welcome page, um, this is how you get started. Okay, so you log in with your username and password that was given to you when you registered. Once you log in, okay, you will have um, messages waiting for you. Okay, um, it's on the top right hand corner, there will be a little envelope. Okay, and I'll show you something what the envelope looks like, but there will be a little envelope that you will need to click on in order to get your email. When you see Mrs. Daly's welcome invitation, this is what that will look like. Okay, once you go log in, read your emails, do step one and two of the email, okay, um, and you're activated and I send you a paste chart and you've already watched step one so you know what a paste chart looks like, you know what all your expectations are, now you're going to get started. Okay, so when you get started, when you log in, it will look something like this. Okay, so you click the class you want to start, so let's just say it's US government. Okay, so US government looks like this. Remember what I said in the announcement um, about the announcement page. This is where I house a lot of information that's important. Make sure you read it. Um, up here is your um, where you schedule your DBA and have all this other information. Okay, and now you're ready to get started. Say, okay, I read my um, 
announcement page. I've read my teacher's announcement page. And then I want you to check your email. This is the envelope that I'm talking about. You will also see this envelope when you go to vsa.flvs.net, okay, which is this page. So you will see this envelope. Click on your email. Read your email first, please. Okay, please, please, please. Then you read your email. Now you're ready to get started. If you're ready to get started, okay, you go to lessons. So when you go to your lessons, you go to get getting started first, okay, and they're going to talk to you a little bit about what it means to be a citizen, you know, you're going to navigate up here, okay, course requirements, after reading this, what do you do? To navigate, you can either go up here where it says go to next page, see these little arrows by the little home, or you can go here and you can navigate this way, okay. So either way is fine. And here's some other things about note taking, glossary, view the notes. Okay, so if you want to view the notes, okay, it's a good way for you to organize your notes and increase the font size. All right, when you're ready to do an assignment, so let's say you go to 10, I'm just because I know that there's an assignment here. So, so you go to 102, okay, and you read the assessment. All right, you get to the point where you're like, okay, you should now understand the requirements, blah, blah, blah. Okay, steps, tells you, gives you directions on what you have to do. Follow the directions. If you do not follow the directions, I take points off. Okay, you could give me the nicest, prettiest, most fantastic piece of work. If you didn't follow the directions, I'm taking points off. Okay, so you read the directions, read the directions, you do the assignment, and then what? What do you do? Well, then you go to assessments. It even tells you here. Your assessment will be graded in the interview, blah, blah, blah. In addition, blah, 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 complete it. You review your notes. Complete and submit your interview and reflection to 102. What is citizenship? So go to assessments. This is your workload. This is where all your assignments are housed. And you're ready to submit assignment 102. Here's assignment 102. So you're going to click on that. It's going to tell you how many points are possible, how many submissions. Remember, I told you three submissions. Okay, student comments. I prefer that you don't put student comments here, and I prefer that you upload your file. So when you're ready to upload a file, okay, it says you could drag files here or just add your files. Um, I'm just old school, and I would just click this, and I would find the file that I want to do. Then I add my file. Make sure that you hit submit for grading. You see how it says save for later? If I click submit for grading, all of a sudden this goes to submit for grading. And then I click submit for grading, and then it comes to me and I will grade it for you. Okay? So that is how you submit your assignment. Now, if you want to check out your um, grade book, you can go to grade book. Okay? You will see that there's no grades for this particular student. Um, and you can also resubmit through the grade book. This is what I wanted to make sure that I go over is your navigation tool up here. See this little main menu here? Okay, so you have all these little things. The best thing for you is course information. Don't go to PACE because I'm sending you your PACE chart, so that'll just confuse you. But everything else is very important. It will help you to get acclimated. The one thing here that's really good is educator orientation. How do I get started in the class? Find the course lessons. How do I submit an assignment, et cetera, et cetera. This is very helpful, okay? Another place is if you're having technical support, you can go to technical support. It tells you what to do for technical support. Um, you can find out, you know, who's online. If you want to email, you hit email, okay? You hit email. This is my email, okay? So these are all the little navigation tools for you, all right? So that's basically it. Um, if you have any further questions, um, please make sure you either email me or give me a call. Um, the password is Miami Dolphins. So when you email me back that information, please make sure you put the password, which is Miami Dolphins. And um, I wish you a good luck and let's have a good semester and stay on pace. Thanks and have a good day.